Good afternoon, and uh, you're listening to Fuji FM in the studio with me today. I've got uh, publicist Gemma Barrett. Good afternoon, Gemma. Good afternoon. Welcome to the show. Um, so, publicist, it, tell me a little bit about that. What, what does the role involve? Well, a publicist is um, basically in charge of publicising big budget films, and we have to generate um, detailed publicity campaigns, um, which pitch and position films for the media and in turn for the public at large. Okay, so you, you work as a publicist in the film industry? Yeah. And so you are sort of marketing these films, if you like. Yes. Um, so how did you come about the role? Do you have any specific training, or is it important that you have training, or is there any other ways of getting into the industry? Um, for a publicist, you do need a degree. Um, hopefully, they usually say in communications, journalism, or business, and they say that uh, other useful qualifications are in public relations, public speaking, writing, journalism, and film history. But um, okay. internships or work st- study often provide entry level positions for publicists. What's an internship? Sorry, just for our listeners out there that don't know. That's where you, um, you, you have time with a company, sort of um, shadowing people in it and learning all about being a publicist from those who are experienced in it. Okay, and they're often lowly paid or un- unpaid jobs as well, yeah. aren't they? Okay, um, and uh, can you tell me about what you think your most important responsibility is as a as a publicist? Um, we have to fully understand the selling points of each film that we publicise, and um, obviously the publicity campaigns are very important, and we have to oversee all the major aspects of press relations, and we have to be expected to liaise with prof- promotional partners, theatre owners, studio executives, members of the film's cast and crew, opinion makers, critics and film festival representatives. So we have to get an overview from absolutely everyone involved with each film. Okay. Um, can you give us an example of a problem or an interesting issue that you've had to resolve uh, when you've been a publicist? Um, well, it's a very... There can be controversial releases. So obviously it's my job to publicise them in a positive way and there can be a lot of negative press. And I have to oversee and coordinate all damage control that might happen. And I have to talk to the cast and producers and find out why they like the idea behind the film. And that can have a lot of interesting responses because obviously people have different reasons for participating. And also find out what kind of message they were trying to get across because obviously it's controversial. it can be confusing to the public. And an example is that um, a film that recently came out is Four Lions, and that has oh yeah, no, terrorist no, no. sort yeah. of connotations. Yeah. But it's supposed to be humorous, and but it can be seen as offensive. So obviously, as a publicist, I had to get that message to the public. Yeah, that's quite. It must be quite a difficult thing to do. Yeah. Fine line between what's humorous and what's offensive. I think films like Borat and, and things yeah. like that I would imagine very difficult to publicise. Okay, thanks for that. If you could, if you had the opportunity to publicise any film that's 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 been in the past or, or you know that's coming out in the future, what what film would you like to, to be work as a publicist on and why? I think uh, the Harry Potter series is always would always be an interesting film to work on because there's so detailed stories and obviously there's a book behind each story and you know just the promotional campaigns and talking to the cast and crew and everything about why they wanted to be part of that film I think it's really interesting okay and I think it would probably be uh, uh, not that difficult to promote the Harry Potter films would it as no. a publicist I think there'd be plenty of people it's got a big uh, big following out there hasn't it yeah but there's also like two sides to that film I think because there's also there's that child connotation of it but there's also a dark side to them you know if you've read the books and I think as my job you'd have to read the books that just to understand the films properly as well yeah absolutely because you want to embrace the adult target audience as well yeah. the, so you need two two different ways of, of publicising it okay thanks for your time that's Gemma Barrett and this is Queen of the Stone Age.